So you want to know if you're an INTP or an ENTP, maybe you're struggling figuring out what's the difference and like, well, I don't really feel that talkative, but maybe I'm an extrovert or maybe I, you know, you just don't feel like you just want to read books all day or, or sit in front of a computer programming or something like that. I don't feel like Neil, but maybe I am an introvert. Well, coming up in this video, I'm going to give you three different points on how you can at least get a little bit closer to understanding which one is which. What's up, Legend? It's Sherman here from Geek Psychology, where I help geeks, gamers, and creatives to have a better life, you know, have more confidence, more motivation, really uh, understand and leverage the superpowers of your personality type, um, because we need that. You know, the world needs that. The world needs people who are on purpose, on mission, using their strengths to help the world in some way, um, whether it's your world you know, whatever capacity that is, or the, the grand scheme scale world. Uh, but here we go. Let's just jump right into it. Okay, I don't need to keep talking too much. All right. So first of all, one of the main things that people run into is that, um, you know, they think that extroversion is just peopling, and introversion is just uh, alone time. That's not really what it is. Um, I, I use, I call extroversion offensive an introversion defensive because I, I bring in these RPG role playing game kind of uh, mindsets and mechanics and things like that. But extroversion is about dealing with the outer world. And so for an NTP, this is about brainstorming about creating new possibilities, about going out there pushing buttons, exploring idea space. And a lot of that exploration is satisfied for an extrovert through interacting with people because people throw the weirdest I was gonna say people throw the weirdest shit at you uh, hopefully they don't hopefully they don't throw weird shit at you hope just no no shit throwing but people do weird stuff right people do things that are unexpected because there's you know there's so many different building blocks into what makes a person a person and, and their state and experiences and what they're going through and all this other stuff. Um, so extroverts kind of get that real time quick feedback from the outer world. And the easiest kind of fix for that is through dealing with people. But that's not necessarily the case. I mean, I know extroverts who just they don't want to be around people. <laughs> they don't like my wife. She's an ENFJ. Um, but she struggles with being a highly sensitive person and, and people kind of stress her out, but she's, she's an ENFJ, right? So you got to kind of take in the real understanding, the real meaning of what the cognitive functions are for an introvert. Um, it's not just being alone that's recharging you, but it's being alone, doing the thing that is important to you. So for an NTP, this is analyzing and and clarifying and understanding something at a, a core deep level it's like having a a big excel spreadsheet or a grid or something like that and you're constantly zooming in to refine a specific piece of information but that can come through even through like playing basketball or something like that right like learning how to leverage your body and stuff like that and and that sounds strange for an intuitive to go that route, but that it's definitely a possibility, right? So it's really important to understand that an introvert is satisfying their, their core strength through doing something related to that, not just from being alone, right? It's, a, it's not a substitute just to be alone, right? You being alone writing about your feelings is not going to be the thing that re-energizes you as much as, um, you know, refining some idea or doing some strategy puzzle or something like that, <laughs> or programming, I, I, whatever you're going to do. I'm, I'm not an INTP, right? But I do know my INTP friend who made a program uh, to get leverage on his job, right? Which was a translating job from English to Japanese and Japanese to English. So I want you to ask yourself, which could you not live without? New possibilities or clarity and understanding on like a deeper level. 
Um, so likely the ENTP, I said likely the ENTP is going to need that exploration, going to need that freedom to kind of uproot and, and move or do, do whatever they want to do um, that's going to satisfy getting more uh, like idea space, right? And connecting more possibilities and seeing which, you know, which, where the fly is within their web of understanding of things and following that desire and, and kind of expanding out to there and, and seeking new things and um, kind of the optimism that comes with that. And INTP is going to say, you know, actually, like that stuff's good and I do need that. But really, like, I want to think about it first. Right? I want to figure this thing out before I engage with it. Um, especially myself as an INFP, like that's, that's one of the huge struggles is like just quickly taking action. That's one thing that always has been a theme that holds me back in life because I want to figure it out, make my own understanding of it before I can engage with the thing. Right. So if you weren't able to do that and you were just, you know, forced to take more actions and, and, uh, you know, a little bit faster paced, then, uh, I, it might be difficult for you as an INTP. Also check out what is your limit. And I don't mean like the thing, you know, when you get a little stressed out, I mean like, what is your limit in life? What, what's that thing that just really holds you back? And it might be pretty unconscious for you, depending on where you are within your journey of personal growth and self-understanding. Um, but kind of think back to, you know, those times where you just, you just were not yourself. And that might be really rare. It might have not happened in a long time. But think about, you know, those times where you just like, oh, man, I really, I just messed up. Like, that was not me. I'm sorry. You know, like, for me, it's like when I, when I get really angry and, like, I punch a wall or something like that. Or I physically pick up an, a person and move them out of the way. And that's, that's awful, right? That's, that's not who I normally am. That was me in a really bad state. Right. So think about it from your perspective. Those times for an extrovert, you probably go inward, right? You probably kind of crash inward for an ENTP. You, you go into your past, maybe into your body, you know, physical senses. Those are a little bit more tied to ENFJ or ENFP struggles, but like stomach aches and gas and stuff like that. Um, or you just get really rigid. Um, and just like seek stability, lock yourself in the room and just like, no, I'm not nothing. No, <laughs> I'm just not going to do anything outside of what I already know to be true. And for an INTP, you know, that's when you get really stressed out, you probably go into like emotional outbursts, right? Where like you, why you, you kind of lost your cool. You, maybe you start crying or just venting or you know getting angry or something like that like those kind of uncharacteristic uh flips that you have when you've hit your limit um, are a sign often into uh your personality type and you know what's your struggle because we usually we switch from like offensive to defensive and defensive to offensive um so the extrovert will suddenly go defensive and just not want new experiences and not want to engage with the outer world. And the introvert was just like, well, defensive isn't working. I'm just going to do whatever I want. <laughs> In a not drastic, dramatic way um, for the extroverts, you know, maybe your limit is just kind of just routine in general and checking in with lessons from the past. And for an INTP, um, you're general kind of limiting factor is probably just reading people and social situations and kind of like, why does everybody get upset at me just for telling the truth? You know, which both of you, I'm sure struggle with that, but an INTP might struggle with it a bit more because they're not reading the social cues as uh, readily. And also they're just, they're not going to devote as much energy to doing that stuff, to going up and like hugging people and, you know, being expressive and stuff like that. So if you want to know more about INTP and ENTP, you can check out the ENTP video over here. My INTP one on Neo from the Matrix uh, was uh, deleted too many times from YouTube. Um, if you write me personally at Sherman at geekpsychology.com, I can give you a link to it. Um, but 
Yeah. They took it off, which is why I don't make cool superhero videos anymore, because I've had so many removed and just banned and stuff like that. Anyway, I love you guys. Hopefully this video was helpful. Let me know down below in the comments what, what stood out to you as something I said that was meaningful that you're going to take away with and maybe even check within yourself, or it actually gave you the answer to understand yourself at a deeper level. Keep up the lifelong questing. Good luck. Have fun. Peace.